Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana with me, Get Daved. Let's keep playing Secret of Mana. And I'm pretty sure wolves are off the endangered species list, so we can take care of these guys easily enough. Sorry if the volume levels have changed greatly for everybody. I did a little bit of testing. I felt like uh, it was a little off before. If you don't like this new configuration, uh, I have nothing to say. That, uh, that, that's pretty much how it is. If you don't like it, well, that, uh, would be your opinion on it. I spend a lot more time making my Let's Plays than I do listening to them, so it's made me horribly unempathetic about the whole thing. Sorry, everybody. Huh. We've discovered... Rudolph. Help, my master's gone. No one's in the ice palace except a monster. Who's got master? Okay. We have to save Santa Claus. Got Spears Orb. That'd be pretty good. That would even be worth visiting Watts over. If I weren't, uh, you know, more interested in other things. Like going farther into this forest. And rescuing Santa. Christmas time is coming in my time period. I don't know what time period you're from. But where I live, it's going to be Christmas in a couple months. We can't have Santa going missing now. Who's going to force the elves to work hard? It's kind of got a bit of a sweatshop going on up there. I'm surprised no one's, like, gotten in a snit about, you know, the ethical implications of Father Christmas using slave labor. Maybe someone has. I'd visit that website. The enemies in here, like, I consider the hounds pretty easy to fight because they're easy to hit. And, you know, pebblers, they're a little underleveled now. Um, they're still dangerous. These guys, these guys can give you trouble. Of course, not when you whack them, so that was nice. A pleasant surprise, even. There's also... I don't know. I didn't really comment on them before, but... Um, there's cloud enemies. They uh, There were a couple in the fire palace that were spitting flames at me and hurting me. Um, yeah, they do that. There's ones that do that with ice here, too. It's kind of weird they have funk in their names. I don't know. Nothing worse than getting attacked by some sort of renegade of funk. Yeah, there he is. So, you got a couple options. You could try using magic on the LA funk. Uh, but they kind of leave you alone for the most part, so I don't really bother. I like to conserve as much magic as possible. Save it for the bosses when uh, you want to bolster the offense. It's also kind of problematic because the only... Uh, type of magic that I'm any good at is uh, Undyne, and somehow I don't think casting Freeze on these enemies would be very effective. I'm gonna level with you guys. I think they've adapted to living in a cold climate. I also think this is a dead end, so I'm gonna go back and go down at this intersection instead. Have I just gotten lost? What do you think? Don't mess with me, Shovel. Okay, run. He's not that dangerous, but it's not worth the investment anymore. Of course, I do have principles. I kind of do have to go back and kill him to be a man of my word. Candy won't fit. It's nice that they're giving me all these items now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah. That was massive damage right there. The good news is the boy is starting to get pretty high at defense, and the howlers, they don't have very high attack, so even though they chained four hits against me, uh, you know, they're all doing like eight damage, so I don't mind. I would say I'm even grateful. Alright, Shell Blast. I'm here to take care of you. Um, 
So, I'm lost again. Sorry, everybody. Normally this doesn't happen. I watched H.C. Bailey's. I think I've commented on this before. I watched his Secret of Mana Let's Play a little bit, and uh, he doesn't believe in charging up attacks. What's with that? Can you do 164 damage with a normal hit? Alright. So I went sideways. Alright. Over here, guys. Okay. This is where we wanted to go, I think. Um, I seem to recall there being two upwards passages, but you know what, that's okay. I don't mind that, uh, it's not matching up with my memory. Yeah, okay. I think there is another upward passage, maybe it's later. Uh, Frick Sprite. And you're almost dead. That is so sprite of you. Sprite's at 20 hit points, everybody else is over 100, and laid out a useless attack. Don't move, sprite. Okay, I whiffed. Maybe I should be a bit easier on the sprite. How did the sprite die already? Like, I don't know. He's got a talent. 52, his defense is terrible. There we go. Big money. Ah. Oh, Sprite, why are you always getting hit? I don't know if I should even bother healing the other characters. Well, that's a telephone. This enemy I always consider a bit easier to fight with friends because you can sort of organize who's going to hit him with the charged attacks and everything. And I am partial to that sort of stuff. 37. I don't think that was... Someone else must have gotten hit in. He's after me. 9 damage to me, 50 some to the sprite. That's ridiculous. Looks like I whiffed again. Get the tentacle! The tenticulator! And girl, heal only the sprite, because sprite's a useless pylon. There we go. I always like seeing the huge numbers, because you can get great healing out of cure water. I don't think it's unbalanced, but it's quite strong. Maybe it is a little unbalanced. I kind of feel it should be a bit weaker than it is, because one shot of healing is almost enough to give you full life at every point in the game. Alright. I think I've got a little bit of time left, so hopefully we can finish you off. Yeah. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Standard boss strategy for this guy. Just, you know, charge up, wait, hit, repeat. Cast Cure Water a lot. I wonder what orb I'm gonna get. I predict bow and arrow. Yeah! You all can give me a pat on the back for that. This disco y music, it's familiar to me. These tropics, I've heard about them. But we can't talk about this further until next time on Secret of Mana Let's Playing with Ged Dave. Goodbye!